welcome back to 31 days of horathon um today we are reviewing or i am reviewing child's play 2019's version um so my expectations for this one um was very low um after watching um chucky the all the chucky editions um I had no hope for Child's Play. I literally remember watching and looking at the the picture of the new Chucky and was like, what is this? Um, well, people, five minutes into the movie, I had to pause it and be like, mm. yes, I loved it. I knew that it was gonna be a really good movie. Now, the scare factors of it, I thought that it was gonna be really scary um, just because it was updated. It wasn't, it was more of, I don't even know how to describe it. It just, it, it was completely off. But I love the actors and the actresses in it. Um, let's let's just talk a little bit about these people, shall we? First of all, the main character who's playing Andy, the young Andy, was Gabrielle Batman. Bateman? Maybe it's Bateman. And this kid is so amazing. Um, first of all, the first time I've watched um, his movie was, he was in Annabelle? Oh, okay. Um, was in 2016 Lights Out. And that movie was really good just because of how he acted in it. When he was scared, you believed him. He, oh my gosh, he was amazing in that movie. And so when I saw that he was playing Andy, I knew instantly that this movie was going to be good just because he was going to be horrified that this doll is running around doing these things. They have made the storyline of Chucky itself completely different. I was totally shocked. I, I guess I shouldn't have known where it was going towards the beginning of the movie but once again my comprehension level. So I didn't know. I was waiting for those basic scenes um, from the original. Um, to be honest, I love the original story better, but I love the acting and the modernization of everything in this movie. It was really good. The mom, Audrey Plaza. I thought she was in the TV show Walking Dead, but maybe that's not her. Y'all help me, help me out, help me out down below because I thought that Maybe that was her, but maybe it's not. And then, I didn't, then again, I didn't watch Walking Dead that much to know. I'm trying to see. I mean, I've probably seen her um, in a few things. She's supposed to be kind of funny, um, a comedic character um, in majority of her movies. I loved her playing the young mom um, because we are freaking, we're young. Uh, the last character I do want to bring up is Brian um, Henry. I was excited to see him in this movie just because um, I think he's a comedian. Is he not a comedian? Is he just an actor? I mean, he got, you know, the best um, outstanding supporting actor in a comedy series. So I thought that he did comedy. Maybe he didn't. I don't, I don't know. Um, but he was hilarious. He was extremely hilarious. Uh, no, he wasn't. <laughs> I thought that he was going to be extremely hilarious. He was not hilarious in this movie to me. Um, but then again, he was supposed to be playing a little bit of a serious character. He kind of brought a little bit of humor of his, like, self, but he was kind of, like, chill. So, to be honest, I do love the storyline of the, the original better. Um, they have turned the original Child's Play and Chucky franchise um, into a really good storyline. I do want to talk a little bit about some spoilers um, and talk about scenes that I loved and why I love the storyline of the original Chucky versus the storyline of this remake. 
and so there's gonna be spoilers so I would like to yeah do a part two of this um, so please come and watch my second video um, of the details of why I liked the original versus the this remake of Child's Play and let's do a little bit of a comparison video with spoilers so thank you so much for watching yo 30 we out <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.